All right, what's up, you guys? Because always, welcome back to another random battle. And this looks great. Soul Galeo's kind of rough. Uh, I see Coco, Radialiki, and I. What? I don't have a ground type, right? That's. Uh, <clears throat> I have played it all, so. No, no, we're fine. We are very fine. Uh, very tough team. Uh, like it, though. Uh, doesn't necessarily enjoy Cobalion all that much. Uh, Kunsight is going to have a rough time. Um, yeah, it's going to be real rough. And um, Umbreon is annoying for me to deal with. So, a lot's going to hang on. Uh, yeah, we're going to lead off with Rasha. Um, I think Regia Licky is like the easiest lead ever. And positive part is that he doesn't have a grounded type. Uh, but he also have a Zarud, which definitely breaks my team apart. And I don't want to get too much chip on myself. Body Press Gladel is going to be very, very good for this team, though. And the Scorching Sands are annoying enough where, you know, score a burn here and there and we should be golden. Stealth Rock is not necessarily all that important. I just... I want to set up Sticky Web, but for me... For, well, Mushams.org. <laughs> oh, oh, look, that, that is not even close to what... What? what, what, what? <laughs> Wait, did he read me read him? If so, then, you know, I'm more part of my opponent, honestly. <laughs> okay, that said... Not that many good switching today. Sneezing Lugl is gonna definitely be like my number one switching, and everything is resisted. You just parting shot or knockoff. Both or snarl. You know what? That could be uh, mildly annoying. Um, I, yeah, I just dark pulls here. Um, <clears throat> see what he's all about. Take any chip here, really. Let's see. Soul Gale Oh. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Yes. Feast on this. That was not the switch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. Um. Yeah. Is Soul Galeo faster, though? I'm pretty sure it's slow. Just how slow is it? I'm definitely faster. Nice. So Hydreigon doing probably way more than he should have. Critical hit. Yeah, that, I could have probably gone about that before. But this works. Now it's all about like Tab Coco, Regieliki. Both of them massive threats for my team and definitely breaks it apart. Solgaleo was hard to kill, but manageable with you know, the right switching. And clearly this kind of helped. Ooh, Sarud. All right. So, Sarud is definitely annoying. Um, Fine form could probably soak a hit, uh, but not well. And uh, it is actually just my real response here. Because it could actually have access to close combat. So, I really hope I don't switch into that. Ham arm, as was. Ooh, yeah, it looks about right. Super effective indeed. But now I am faster, so I can just retaliate with a close carbide, which probably won't kill, but definitely do a good chunk. Oof, just wish it did better. Really wish it did better. Though, Cabellon has, has watched out for moves before. This is not one of those games. I'm, I'm sorry, Fighthorn. You were probably way more important for this matchup anyway, so this is not helping. Uh, but he lost speed twice. So he's a really slow mon right now. And I could probably set up freely my sticky webs. There is like Darkest Lyric is his strongest hit. Plus I'm pretty sure I scare him out. So stick web up. Whoa 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 whoa. It's the school. Don't know why I say that. But yeah, stick web I need stick web even though Reggie Eliki might be able to spin. Because I just know it helps me in the long run. Let's see, switch into pokegens.com. That's, um, that's a Coco. I'm in love with the Coco. <laughs> Type of Cocos are good too. Like, I don't see it too often, like in Wi Fi Battles anymore, uh, or even on Showdown. And I guess it is because of the defined, um, like, switchings that are left in the meta, but it is a great mon. And for my team, it is horrendous to deal with. Switching in Eurasia. Because <laughs> um, Dazzling Gleam does a lot. Um, U-turn is not something I want to soak. 
but you know, I happily take anything that makes me alive. And Scorching Sands are definitely my play, even though it can U-turn out. Uh, Bree Bird, ooh, it's physical too. I am built with um, body press in mind though, so I'm not necessarily that worried. Uh, <laughs> oh, and Scorching Sand will do... I need the bird though. Damn it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm winning this match, which is definitely helpful. Um, if I were him, I'd probably switch into something else, not to waste my terrain. Something like an Umbreon. Yeah, there we go. There are a lot of love on this one. Yeah, it looks about right. So I gotta, I gotta figure this out because foul play shouldn't do anything to me. Uh, I'm sure. Burn will be annoying for me, mainly because he will retaliate to burn. Uh, but I, I really couldn't say what he has on the table. I definitely have an easy play with my body press. I just don't know how bulky I am in contrast to him. If you, you, you catch my drift. Let's see, Butter Press will do... Please do something great. Oh yeah. Yeah, I am winning this matchup. Snarl, pff, please. <laughs> Got nothing on me, bro. Got nothing on me. It actually did a good chunk though, but yeah, yeah, we're good. Um, question is... Do I want to set up Self Rocks here? I think... I think I invite... Yeah, I got a body press, because if I invite a wish, I could stealth rock and protect. Maybe. Withdraws? Damn it, I probably should have. Damn it. Majams.org. But still, like. Play with the idea. Um, Incinor is not that bulky. Depending on this build, I could probably do a lot of damage here. Yeah, 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 it's almost half, really. <laughs> Clay Duel doing stuff. I hate, I love this set. I told you in one of the videos before, there are the five matchups that wins against this uh, Mon, but... <sighs> like the Scorching Sand Body Press combination is so annoying. <laughs> I love it. It's so weird how it works. Come on, Primarina, take the Snarl. Not well, but take it. So... The minor special attacker is actually quite annoying for me. Um, I should be able to outspeed. Question is, do I Scald or Moonblast here? I think Moonblast overall is the best neutral play. Yeah. Oh, and I still went Scald. Fantastic. <laughs> Pokemonfans.com. Yeah, looks about right. You know you're inviting Claydolin again. I really hope you have a plan B here because Claydolin is right now your absolute number one enemy. Oh, look at that. Wow. Yeah, I'm doing easy play here. As of right now, Claydolin is doing so much shenanigans that I, I can't help loving it. Wow, Sap Cannon, that's. <laughs> that's one aggressive. You know, I'm not gonna be that guy, but think about it. My opponents here are absolutely having an absolute feast team on my team. Like, there is, there should be a very one-sided matchup, but due to, and just only due to Claydol, there is nothing happening here. I should have body pressed for sure. Because I definitely don't want to take um, a power whip here. There is no way I should be able to stomach that. However... He can go for Dark Move or Grass Move, so damn, this video is not an option necessarily either. Do I wanna sit in Kunsite here? Nisnu could probably... There, there is no way. There is no way he would go for something like, oh, let's say, um, Hammer Arm again, right? That's um, that's the game plan right now. Bow it. Fuck. That's great. Oof. Resisted. Sure, whatever. Dark Pulse in here. Um, thing is, versus Tabu Koko, I don't necessarily know what to do either. But Saruto is gone, which definitely helps. Even though it's resisted, you know, clearly it works. Um, I've seen, like, 
One Hand Dragon set that I want to really use, but probably won't be able to due to the releases of the remakes. But Dark Pulse, Substitute, Roost, and Nasty Plot. Absolute Mad Lad set. Uh, going super fat, and it seems to be doing like quite the splash, since Sylvian is not necessarily that common. Okay. So, here is the question for y'all. Should I stay in and try to stomach this hit? Do I need Hydreigon for the matchup? <clears throat> Survey says no, right? That's uh, We have what? Umbreon? No, there is nothing Hydreigon can do. Staying in here, hoping um, we somehow kill him anyway. Uh, uh, this is getting kind of tight. A lot of snarls has passed my way. Let's see, we do, of course, outspeed. This Dark Pulse will do. Oh no. Oh, so he kills himself though. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, the crit, fine. <sighs> so, Coco, Umbreon, and Regieliki. I do believe we outspeed. At least, Coco, we won't kill it. It's just, as of right now, there is just no way of me of switching in and out. I think I have the matchup under control due to Claydol alone. Claydol don't care about any of this, and it's kind of funny how it doesn't. I actually have another Claydol game. I did not think that that was going to happen. I went out of my way when I had a Claydol week to make an offensive Claydol work with specs, and now I have a defensive Claydol who just probably a better job of just not allowing the matchups to work. And I am absolutely in awe. <laughs> so I think I want to take the, the easy route here and um, actually let him kill me and just bring in Claydol because um, I want that matchup in for free, really. So we're nasty plotting here, gonna look really greedy. A flash can, of course, kills. But as of right now, I just, depending on the set, um, I think it's more worthy of my freaking little to do the stuff he wants. By the way, I think this kills him too, right? It's gotta. It's gotta, right? Oh. He doesn't. It's alright, I can only assume he's gonna brave her again. So, if he decides to go for any other move like Dazzling Gleam, I'm gonna spin him to death. Because that wasn't that is what men do. Also realize he could dynamize any second just to get the retaliation on me. And if so, then more power to my opponent. <laughs> really. <laughs> oh, he, he switches out. How about that? Two. Ah, oh, Dumbreon. All right. But consider the self rocks. I'm pretty sure he's in body press range. Even more so when I'm spinning. You spin me right round, baby, right round. I like that his head was standing still while his body was spinning. That's um haven't seen that animation before. I, I love it. I love this mon. I love this mon. It is phenomenal for every right reason. Oh, little doing God's work. Little do we know. So, yeah, I mean, with that said, I kind of um, want to wrap up the game. We just kind of speak loudly, you know. I only got one more, like, game of um, the Decidueye week, and then we're all to, you know, black and white, or no, um, just because of B. Um, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I hope that matchup, or not that matchup, that, that meta is going to be rewarding. Um, a lot of rumors, or rumors, a lot of leaks right now telling that it might not be as complex and if so of course it's gonna be like bothersome to see that the evolution of the meta but kinda oh <laughs> that was a cool move it's probably gonna do a lot too <laughs> no <laughs> uh, but yeah like if that is true then um, I wonder just how I'll go about this because a lot I know I know a lot of you guys want to play me for Wi-Fi Battle. I really want to battle you guys too. Um, 
the schedule has not been there really and the players has not been there either hence why I go for random battlers uh, because bad timing in contrast to well the obvious people just there is there is not that much more complexity left the only ones left are playing ubers in, in general and um, I, he did it, Dietro Rocks, yeah, oh, hi, Clay Duel, absolute mad lad. Anyway guys, as always, been watching, but like I said, reload the battle you guys soon, make sure to join the Discord channel for, no, we're, we're gonna absolutely play Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl here in the future, and I'm really looking forward to doing just that. So that's it guys, as always, have a great day, and take care everyone, alright? Bye.